passionate love so my name is Amy Baby Passion Diary and welcome upon this YouTube channel alright you guys so I have another exciting product review for you guys so as you probably read on the title this is gonna be a review comparison of the makeup revolution ultimate eye base I still have the box you guys as you all can say just remove it just to save some time and so that it won't the video will not be interrupted as well and then I'm going to compare this one with the Anastasia eye primer so I had I heard quite a lot of people talking that it, this one is pretty similar to this not Anastasia that's why I wanted to test them both side to side and also like um, in terms of the pigmentation in terms of the quality of the both eyeshadows which is better so by the way this eye primer from makeup revolution cost six euros I did so the claims of this eye primer this is a thick consistency but um crisp proof consistency or crisp proof eye primer and it lasts one well, okay. which one is better which one is worth your money or which one you should purchase Let's on the demo if you don't know me my name is amy and i have a huge passion and heart for makeup or anything beauty related stuff such as beauty and as well as skincare so if that's something you find interesting and you are curious about my thoughts and makeup tutorials please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you get notified on my new uploads so for new for my new subscribers out there hello there you guys and thank you so much for subscribing and supporting my channel and for my returning subscribers hello there you guys thank you so much for tuning in on today's video so just to remind you guys the anastasia beverly hills one cost me 28 euro i had this one for such a very long oh, time some people said uh, that this one is comparable to the pillowiz base which i am going to put them side by side on a different video you guys for yeah so that you guys know my thoughts about the tour today i'm just going to focus on this too because a lot of people said that they are pretty similar in consistency and as well as how they applied and pigmentation wise and the application in all so yeah so that's that's so i'll stop rumbling right I'm now i'm gonna give you a swatch of both of them side by side so you can see how they both look by the way i got the shade light i got the shade light because i use a lot of colorful eyeshadows and plus a light eyeshadow primer is great also even if you use like like for smoky eye makeup look it will intensify the color if you use a light shadow base so that's that um let's move on to the demo here's this watch you guys of both of the primer on my left side where you can see my birthmark uh that is the makeup revolution eye primer and on the right side that's the abh primers you can see they look very identical also swatch wise they look very similar uh however i felt that the makeup revolution one is a bit thicker than the abh one but not as thick as the pillowist base uh this is not a makeup tutorial so we're just going to test the two different kinds of eyeshadow bases which one is better i'm going to use the makeup revolution one on my left eye and the eyeshadow base from anastasia beverly hills is on my right eye probably it's on your left side um but i'm just putting it out now so that you guys know so i'm going to use the palette from beauty bay which is the mimi mitchell collaboration this is not available anymore unfortunately i'm just going to apply it right straight on my eyelid all right so i don't think that this is really thick at all and looking at it while i'm blending it it seems like the same consistency as the anastasia beverly Hills. by the way i took the shade light i bought the shade light so on the right eye i'm gonna use my anastasia one as i said formula wise it's definitely quite same as the uh, eye primer from anastasia i felt this is definitely a very dry consistency um oh yeah i'm using the right brush i was confused yeah it's absolutely the same consistency both has definitely same consistency now we're just gonna test later on i actually like how this eye primer looks than the anastasia as you can see the anastasia is definitely very cakey <laughs> that happens a lot honestly whether i use it on its own or on top of because i have like a concealer on my lid because i did my face makeup already the first eyeshadow that i'm gonna use 
on the left side which is the my the makeup revolution primer i'm going to take the shade main i'm not going i don't need to show you like the eyeshadow because probably lots of you don't have the palette and if you do i'm just refer on the eyeshadow colors that i am mentioning in this video so taking the shade main as i said don't consider this an, as an eye makeup tutorial we are here to test the product the eyeshadow primer So as you all can see, the eyeshadow is definitely vibrant and beautiful. I don't see anything that it crease or it's patchy. So the eyeshadow is definitely, just by looking at it now, it looks definitely great. And no, it's not tacky or sticky when you apply your eyeshadow. It's the eyeshadow primer is definitely dry in my opinion. So now let's move on on the Anastasia one. And let's see how it's gonna look once I apply the eyeshadow. Taking the shade main again. all of a sudden it was very gloomy and raining outside it's very gray outside but now it's very sunny all of a sudden so as you can see the lighting is a bit messed up but um looking at the two eyeshadows i mean looking at the two left and right lid the eyeshadows pretty look identical there is nothing that looks patchy or not or that the other one's pigmented than the other they look absolutely identical, feels identical every time I apply the shadow and as well as blending. So I'm going to take the shade Meh on the left side of my eye with the Makeup Revolution Primer. So that's color Meh. <laughs> it's so, so cute every time that I pronounce that name. And the color itself is so pretty. So we're going to blend it out. Let's see how it's going to look once I blend it. So you can see guys oh i cannot do it it's so bright outside so you all can see guys it looks beautiful and blended to perfection i don't have any issue yes the sun is <laughs> the sun is about the sun is covered by clouds so that's good so as you can see it doesn't look spotchy at all it it is blended beautifully and so far so good oh my god i just felt like i wasn't filming this part but like what i was saying um i'm just gonna tell you now i don't think that that one or my camera just stopped filming but what i was trying to say or what i was saying a while ago that this uh the dash the abh primer is patchy once you apply it on your lid i don't know if you can see it but i think you can just look at this part it's very very patchy but that often happens and i've shown that before we put on an eyeshadow so that is um the thing that concerns me with the ABH for something that cost me 28 euro I was expecting these things not to happen as I said the ABH is definitely a very dry formula and I love using it to cut in the crease but not as an eyeshadow base because these things happen and I really need to focus a lot with my blending to remove the patchiness but a lot of times it's not that's why to avoid that I'm not using the ABH as a primer itself so, um, so I'm gonna continue now let's move on to this side and by the way I don't know if you noticed as I said my camera shuts down for sure but this one is actually um, less pigmented the first actually that we applied less pigmented than the other one so you can see you can you can definitely see the transition between the two colors you can still see the deep shade and the med the uh, transition shade that they're both there but blended beautiful and seamless while well, this one i blended it but then the the first shade is almost not visible so i need to definitely deepen up that part and <laughs> so i'm going to take the shade muffin no marine and i'm going to apply it on the middle part of the lid the shimmers on this palette is beautiful that's why I'm so upset that they discontinued this palette because I feel like everyone should have this palette. 
Now let's put this shade on the ABH primer. They look absolutely like identical in terms of like how the eyeshadow is applied and also like how pigmented the eyeshadow appears on the lid. So that's definitely a very, uh, it's a good sign. Let's just say that. Now we're going to apply it as well as on the lower lash line, on the middle part. By the way, I didn't put any primer underneath. If you put like, if you have a foundation underneath your eye and as well as concealer, it's technically you don't need to add an, a primer because the lid, the lower lid, or lower lash line, is, the skin is very thin. So putting a lot of makeup there, remove it at the end of the day, it's too much. It will also cause um, premature aging and wrinkles underneath your eye if you're going to put way too much product and you need it. This whole makeup test is not yet over because we have to wait a couple of hours and let's see how it looks at the end of the day. It still looks pigmented and beautiful as it looks now. I'm going to finish up the eye makeup look the rest of the face and um, yeah, I think that I'm gonna be right back to show you how it all turns out and a little bit of... Hello oh, there you guys! So just a quick update. I have this eye makeup look for one and a half hours. I finished up the entire eye makeup look and as well as the face routine off camera just to save some time because some um, the whole focus is the eye primers. So, or um, the eye primer from Makeup Revolution. And this is yeah, the side where I used the Makeup Revolution one and the Anastasia ABH one is on the right side. And you guys, it, they are looking identical. They still look both beautiful and pigmented. There's nothing creasing or looking patchy at all. And yep, so we're gonna wait up to the end of the day to see how both are gonna look like. Well, the ABH I already know because I've used this one a lot. Well, we're just gonna focus on the makeup revolution but one, but so far, they both look flawless and beautiful and I am for 6 euro you guys. So far I'm so impressed with how it looks on my eyelid. And so yeah, I'm going to give you an update later on. So that's that, I'll be back. Hello you guys, so I am back to wrap up this video. It's now 9 in the evening and I wear this makeup, I have this eye makeup since 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I have the eye makeup for six hours long and everything still looks absolutely beautiful both sides let me get a mirror yeah both sides are really beautiful and the pigmentation is still the same nothing appears less pigmented than the other they're both beautiful as how i applied it six hours ago so i would say that this is definitely a great product from Makeup Revolution. It's affordable and I highly, highly recommend this to you guys to check this product out. Um, if you cannot afford Anastasia, which is I don't honestly recommend this product for the price because, because this product always gives me that dry patches and it always squeeze on my eyelids. My eyelids is definitely not greasy or oily at all my eyelids are pretty normal on summer season it's definitely quite dry than normal i mean oily year than normal but it's just because of so that. get this product you guys worth 5.99 it's very affordable it's very cheap actually and if you're really looking for an eye primer that your eyeshadow will last longer as you all can see on my eye makeup get this product it doesn't crease on my eye you saw it during the process when i was applying this one and also when i was applying the eyeshadow i don't have any issue or problem with this product and it actually sets matte on my lid after like a couple of seconds that i applied it probably half a minute so definitely really like this 
eyeshadow base and I will continuously use this eyeshadow base probably all of my upcoming make tutorials will be using this so that's a wrap you guys so I hope that you like this video I hope that you find this video interesting and helpful and if you do please give this video a thumbs up and if you have any makeup requests please leave it down below in the description box or in the comment section so that's all for today and don't forget to check out the description box if you wanted to get your hands on this eyeshadow base I got this one at the Boosie Shop website or online shop you can get it to the makeup revolution website as well if it's sold at on the busy shop okay, so i want to wish you all a lovely day or lovely evening whichever part of the world you are please to subscribe on my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time that i upload new videos here on my channel and stay happy healthy and safe wash your hands properly and i will see you guys on my next video and as always be confident and stay grounded bye everyone